If so, I, <laughs> I'm not in charge. Oh, wait, you're new. Hey, you want to work in a movie? Of course you do. You are the solution to all my problems. Classic tale. The small town nobody, you, arrives just in time to save world-renowned auteur, Guy Marvel, yours truly. My movie, my masterpiece, is four fucking years in the making, and I will not have it derailed by these fucking plebes with no cinematic vision. Do you know how many fucking awards Blood Dragon 3 is gonna win if we shoot this fucker correctly? <laughs> All of them! Except this entire stretch of flyover country is a 160 decibel noise factory and I need absolute fucking silence for this scene! Be the hero, big shot. My first AD will fill you in. I need to contemplate my own genius for a bit. Hey, you the security honcho we were promised? Listen, I'm not the first AD, I'm just the sound guy, Dean. Guy fired the first AD after he refused to use live ammunition on cows. Now his genius idea is to shoot a scene like a silent film, only using sound. So, you can probably figure out how well that's going. Noise? In the wilds of Montana? Go figure. This place is loud as fuck. Your job is to kill the sound. And I mean kill it. You hear that horn? It's shit like that we gotta shut down. Go kill the noise. Whatever it takes.
That's got it. Okay, come on back. I'm listening for more trouble. I die. 
die before I wake. I pray the Lord my soul can take. Line them up and die. Another dead piggy. Got him. Courageous, be strong. Dropped one. Switch your position. Can't do anything from here.
get your ass back here. I think Guy wants to make out with you. Kid. Those pussies back in Hollywood could learn a little something from you. The ferocity you showed! Mmm, intense, frightening. You made me shoot my pants a little, but but I liked it. Now I can finally spray my magic all over this film! Mm. Blood Dragon 3 will be a masterpiece! Seriously, it has to be. I can't go back to working on shit like Far Cry. I'd rather put my balls in a vice and listen to everyone with their fucking opinions about world building and player motivation and believability. Oh, I'll kill myself, I swear to fucking God. Oh, and, and I wasn't kidding before. Close set, get the fuck out of here. People used to go down in that mine and... Yo, active gas was good for you. Crazy.
then come on over. I'm about to put on some tunes. Have a BBQ. I... Right. I am Charlemagne Victor Beauchamp. Now, if you require more brevity in your day-to-day -day life, you can just call me Sharky. Welcome to the Disco Inferno, man. It's my special place where I can just be me without the prying eyes of my P.O. for witnesses or law enforcement types such as yourself. Here is where I am free to unleash my fire and mayhem in a pants-free, consequence-free environment. I have pants on now, yes, but who knows what the next half hour, 45 minutes hold. Got a sweet-ass sound system rigged for 110 decibels of the hottest music ever created. Every time I crank it up, man, those dipshit cult angels, they just come running, and I can't tell if they love it or hate it, but I'm telling you, it sure is fun to melt their faces off. And don't worry, man, the angels, they's already brain dead. I'm just giving them a glorious send-off to disco heaven, man. You want to help? It's good fun, man. I promise not to tell anyone. We don't even have to wear pants or nothing. I supply the music and I use the flamethrower to make them dance and you use your um I don't know whatever it is you got let's just burn this mother down
fun. Man, I wish all cops were cool like you. What can I say, amigo? You and me, we got chemistry. We're like, we're like a freaking team. All right, get back out there, man. Call me next time you're taking on the angels.
The Cougars couldn't have come this far without you. raided my place trying to kill my peaches. Now she's raced off for her revenge. If I know peaches, she's gone off to chow down on those hippies. She's probably lounging at the nearby campsite. It smells like armpits and processed meat down there. So those Eden Project losers can't be far away. Go on and find her now. Be sure to take her treats with you. She's just like that little drubbing whore at the marina. She'll follow you anywhere if you give her a treat. Now go get my kitty back. Please understand that there is no threat to Eden's game or the family. I understand now your glorious purpose. Hello? This is Ms. Mabel. Oh, that's technique, ninja style. You're good. Ah. 
still in one piece. All you have to do is say when and we'll bust them piggies. Place is getting intense and shit. That's gotta mean we're rolling up on three in this place. I mean, liberation's on the way, man. It's right around the corner.
with those food cakes for years. and a handout. Just because you did a good deed, you have another thing coming. I hope you're happy. You had me so worried, you little shit. I'll be honest. I figured I'd never see you again. Thought you were a little dim in the headlights, but you proved me wrong. Ah, oh, hell. Why don't you just keep the damn cat? I've enjoyed not having to deal with her incessant needs for food and water and attention the last few days. All right, off you go. We're done here. Wow. 